very rising reception for Rangers who had a great game against German opposition the last time at Ibrox Park and from Saturday have made only one change with Ali Dawson back in the team to bolster the defence which will uh, need to be very canny tonight against a fast-breaking German side and uh, Ian Redford pushed forward into an attacking position and obviously Rangers will be delighted that Craig Patterson is fit there was a slight doubt about him and there has been for the past uh, two or three weeks but uh, it looks to me as if he'll be going strong tonight and absolutely invaluable that Rangers had bet tonight again a slight doubt about him and his uh, skill and vision in European football is a huge asset to the Rangers team what a very sprightly looking Cologne team coming out and very confident of course a side packed full of internationalists eight players there with international experience including number eight uh, Adam Slivo who is the Yugoslavian who was perhaps Yugoslavia's best player during the World Cup and the man the very colorful goalkeeper Harold or Tony Schumacher who introduced Kung Fu to the World Cup in Spain last summer and then went to his uh, victim's wedding a few months later and was pelted with food so you've got to commend him for courage he's also a very good goalkeeper indeed and uh, Pierre Litvarsky who ended up in the Southern General Hospital last night after a collision at training he had an elbow injury just holding that left arm rather gingerly but uh, he has recovered a superb player hat-trick uh, against England under 21s and then the following night went to Wembley and assisted uh, Rummenigge to score a couple of goals there well a very copious squad uh, from the Swedish referee tonight who has rolled Eriksson the last minute substitute by the way he was in Moscow a fortnight ago refereeing a game there 38 years of age a very pleasant individual indeed well I think the Rangers players as we kick off must realise there are many old scores to settle in this game because the last time these two teams met of course Cologne knocked Rangers out of a European tournament and they did it uh, with great efficiency and uh, that looked to me as if Derek Johnson injured himself as soon as he touched the ball he might just have gone over on his ankle he really was under no pressure one of these uh, almost unavoidable injuries John McLaren has meant so much to the composure in this Rangers side neatly touched on there by Litvarsky he might have a sore elbow but it's done nothing to the legs he'll go fast tonight that's Coleman very experienced player don't be deceived by the number nine on his jersey He'll be coming from a deep midfield position swinging way over Redford again picking up very deep indeed that can't get forward Redford picks up again Here's Russell. Now Bet. Mass of white jerseys in front of him all the same. Cooper. Panopka goes with him. Goes to the outside again. Can he get his chip in? It's too much. Beautifully put back there by Christine, but delightful play by Cooper. I mean, that's the sort of play that will break down any defence, no matter how tight they are. His ability to wriggle clear, sweep round players. The only fault was there was too much on the cross. And the Germans will probably have realised where the danger is going to lie for them. Out to that left, or indeed from the wings of Cooper decides to switch across, as he very often does. Cooper again Redford in after it can he get his touch he does and wins the corner not a determination in that run <laughs> 
So, Davy Cooper. Swings it high. Patterson is in there. It's off the line. Karapka. Beautiful header indeed. The pressure still on. Bet. Oh, he turns magnificently. In it goes. There's Russell. Al McKinnon. Good play by Rangers. Well, that was a superb header by Patterson. And Schumacher could only look at it. There was the almost diminutive form of Konopka to get right behind it. Cooper. There's John Stern. He's called. one nothing. Oh, brilliantly done by Johnson. He really took the Germans on. Ten minutes gone. And the big striker, who's now scored ten goals in European football with that one, just so delicately back the goal, flipped it away, and made Schumacher look quite foolish. There's Konopka, the man who saved the ball in the line. Redford is with them, and that's wild. their first that's not a bad looking cross and Schumacher has to touch it he really committed himself it is a corner I think one or two of the Germans might have thought that that had floated over and McKinnon their number two uh, recall that beautiful goal he laid on in the game against Borussia Dortmund from that position once again the former Cooper he tries a different kind there's Russell with it in the century pass. Sweetly struck Robert Russell right behind it. I think it might just have been sliding off the outside of the foot slightly. Schumacher extended to get down. Trying to go for that, and he does, just gets in. Oh, there's a beautiful ball to bet. Schumacher's with him. In it goes, can anybody put it in? No, the goalkeeper had to desert his goal, and this pressure is making the Germans look very ordinary in defence. Once again, that superb running by Rangers on the flank, brilliant ball. And the German goalkeeper had to commit himself. Well, a bit of a push there, no question about that. That was Lidbarski. Kanopka seems to have made a quick recovery. Lidbarski again. Bobby Russell goes on the tackle, so does Cooper. He played round though to Preston. Slivo, Konopka, tries to find a gap and doesn't, Redford, with a big clear, Steiner comes forward, that's great play by Steiner, wanted a 1-2, the long legs of Patterson are in, Slivo, trying to dip one, Oh, that was a cunning shot by Slevo. He tried to put a bit of dip and swerve into it. There is Konopka. Rangers have the defence and it's picked up by Bent. Here's the break. It's got to be fast. Bent going forward. Pritz is on the outside. There's a good ball to Pritz. 
That's neatly put in and beautiful goalkeeping by Schumacher. Schumacher made a lot of that, although I think Fritz's ball gave him a certain amount of assistance. Looking that way round. Germans playing with a little more composure. Konopka. And Patterson deciding to slide it out. Engels trying to turn around very quickly. Engels, you see, they're just going to the post. Was in the World Cup squad for Spain. Originally chosen, but uh, they left him behind in Germany. He's had three caps. Looks a very useful player indeed. Run away by Bent. Redford slightly hesitating. Dawson, Russell, a beautiful ball. Here's a good break now. It's four against two. Astonishing. Here's McKinnon. And Schumacher saves the day again. And I think a free kick has been given for that tackle. That was an amazing break by Rangers. There were four, four players going forward. And... Fritz deciding to push it away to the side. And the goalkeeper Schumacher having to come out as he's already done in the game. Diving down dangerously and the referee, I think, uh, certainly not too happy with the tackle. Neither was the linesman. Redford clipped neatly in. Here's Pritt with a chance. Oh, what a miss. He can't believe it himself. And I think he was offside in any case. Or was he? The linesman certainly pointing across. Let's see. Certainly the linesman had pointed. No, goal kick. So, Robert Pritz, the goal gaping. Certainly Schumacher in front of him. And uh, there was a bit of panic in that finish. They got to kill a team off when you get chances like that. Nothing worse than looking back and regretting this is bet. And he goes again. There's Russell coming for this. Great tackle by Bonhoff. Here's Prince. Russell. And the halftime whistle goes what I think has been an excellent match, a first-rate Rangers performance, as uh, well as I've seen them playing in Europe, even comparing to the previous game. I think Bet's been outstanding, but that's the man who counts, Derek Johnson. And with that beautiful little turn, swivel and click, put Rangers into a vital lead, and it could have been more. But for the head of Konopka. Konopka getting of a superb header there by Patterson. It might have been two. And I think uh, Robert Fritz will look back at that miss and say to himself, really, I could have killed the game then and there. But Rangers, as Schumacher goes off to immense booze. There he is. <laughs> Don't know whether he's enjoying it or not. Rangers in the ascendancy and playing extremely well. Well, off the Germans go, and they know all about uh, what a roasting at Ibrox is like. They had about three or four spells in that first half when they were really rocking. Rangers playing some superb football. Ought to be more than one goal in the lead. He is bent. Looking for his opening, and that's a free kick. And a very blatant one given away by his track. Looked um, a bit apprehensive as he came off at half time. As uh, Bet runs over it, there's a chip back to Bet, and he couldn't get it. That was brilliantly conceived by Rangers. The finishing not quite coming off. That looped little chip, Bet running forward again, and he tried to be a bit too uh, fussy about how he finished. Dawson just takes his eye off, and there's McClellan. Much more studied pass by the big Irishman that time. 
McKinnon. Bant with a very, very good run again. Well, that's a wild, wild tackle, and that will be a booking for Yugoslavia. Slivo is booked. Free kick to Rangers with uh, just about five minutes of the second half gone. Patterson and McClellan, as is inevitable for this kind of uh, position, have come forward. There they are, number five and four. Derek Johnson going to the near post, and the referee delaying the free kick, getting them right back. That's the ten yards, and here is Pritz. Foul post one, conceded by Strack. David Cooper with a corner kick. Oh, an easy one for Schumacher. And uh, given a free kick again, the attendance of Derek Johnson. Germans coming back into this game all the same. That's a good ball by Fritz, good interception. Away goes Bent. That's a lovely ball to the outside. Feels for the free kick. The ball is swept away, and it's still in play, that's beyond McKinnon. Engels. Very quick player indeed, the Germans breaking the numbers. Bonoff. Connacht got beautifully back. And here's Russell. Bradford. Another bit of space for him, Kuhlman going in. Calls it towards Derek Johnston. Peels for the foul, that again in goes Cooper. Cooper just turning round on it. And brought down, free kick. And I think uh, the Germans are very lucky that didn't happen in the ball. So we're one or two tackles there. We're going in slightly late and then checking and another booking. No, Strack. Strack, the captain, being booked for that ball on Cooper. Cooper surrounded there by about five Germans. Trying to show them his tail and being forced out of the box. And a free kick given. Uh, Rangers fashioned their first free kick uh, rather skillfully. I think there might be a variation this time. Exactly ten minutes gone, I think David Cooper will be taking this. The referee wants them all back. And Cooper, in fact, goes into the wall. And it's Pritz who's there. Robert Fritz, driving it. And the linesman on the far side awards the goal kick. Range is a little slow in getting up on the right-hand side. Very neatly put down with Barsky. Back comes Fritz. Took that very well. Done a lot of hard grafting tonight. McClellan comes up. There's Fritz. Patterson. Germans marking very closely. Got to find the free man. Russell. Here's Patterson. Oh, he's caught out. Try to go through the player. This is where they could be very dangerous indeed. Right down the middle they go. It's a great run and McClellan steps in. And I think the free kick is given. Jam is looking extremely dangerous as he broke there. And Engels is already showing, showing how fast he can be in a break.
Free kick to be taken. Slevo is aiming for it. Well, it's beautifully driven in and it's in. Oh, it swerved away. But Alofs, it's Alofs who got the shot in. It dipped and swerved. And after 15 minutes, Jim Stewart holds his uh, hands to his head. That was driven in. There might have been a bit of a swerve in it. And Stewart couldn't hold it. In it went. One each. Redford. Derek Johnson. Russell. Fritz. That's a good run by Fritz. All saved by Schumacher with a really assured touch. Although he punched at it. He was behind it all the way. Great shot by the Swede. Here's McDonald. Hickley back to Cooper. Schumacher going after that one and clutching it very cleanly. Patterson is after that. So is Angles. Redford has been pushed back further to a deeper position with John McDonald forward. And there is John McDonald. That's a neat ball inside. Russell cuts back though. Fritz. Again, a free kick, I think, this time against Johnston. Very quickly taken. The basket puts out that. Sleevo. Preston has it. 11 minutes left. And uh, Craig Patterson is injured away in the far side. And uh, Schumacher getting in a round of applause for kicking the ball out of touch whilst Patterson is injured and the referee allowing the physiotherapist to come on. That, in fact, was a uh, a very good touch by Schumacher. And he was applauded by the Rangers crowd there for kicking the ball out of touch. Well, it looks to me as if Gregor Stevens is going to come on. And this, this will be Gregor Stevens' uh, first appearance for Rangers in the, uh, the first team this season. That's a great pity there. There's a stretcher over there. And he's... Well, actually, Patterson is spotting the stretcher. There's Patterson going off. And away down on the other side, there's a German player down. They're falling like nine pins now. we were watching Craig Patterson there going off obviously seriously injured <laughs> on comes the German substitute Hartmann there's Beth and there is an appeal again as John McDonald went down and the referee ways play on and it is becoming very ragged now and it goes and just over there from Johnson and I think a deflection again a corner kick the pressure on Redford and curls it way behind as Gregor Stevens comes right up behind. Well, 
according to your watch, seven minutes remaining, but there will be injury time in this. There's little doubt about that. Not sure what uh, the extent of the German injury is. So with Bert Kuhlmann off the field now. And there's John McDonald beautifully to the outside. And that was a free kick, I think. Hectic defence by the Germans. Only six minutes remaining. Everybody in the penalty area. Well, there's a goal, yes! John McClellan makes it 2-1. After intense Rangers pressure. To the great delight of a Rangers support that has stood behind Rangers all the way. The free kick floated in, and there was a big Irishman with a gentle blight of the head, and Rangers finally deserving that lead with only about uh, five minutes remaining with, I think, injury time. Absolutely no more than Rangers have deserved. time left for Rangers to increase on this but they've got there and that slip forward as McKinnon goes down the free kick again and about uh, 15 free kicks in the last 10 minutes Bet. Singing starts up round Ibrooks again. Davy Cooper can't get away with it, and in goes McKinnon. Here's Bent now, walking his way in, tries the shot, and it's just passed. Beautiful attempt by one of the best players of field. And if you compare him, for example, to Rainer Bonhoff, he's had a greater influence in the game than Bonhoff. Bonhoff certainly coming to the end of his career. But Jim Bett there has shown the pace, the acceleration and the control of a very great player indeed. Up goes Stevens. Marvellous ending to this game. Three minutes by a watch. I think there'll be injury time. John McDonald. There's Bett again to Pritz. Runs out of steam and McKinnon goes forward. He's still there. Derek Johnston with the touch, John McDonald, and a corner kick. Rangers throwing everything into it now. It was a period of the game when it looked as if the Germans would throttle them in, in midfield and get away with it. And now Rangers are full steam, and here is Cooper. And uh, very cunningly, the Germans wanted to make a substitution to take a bit of the heat out of all this. That's a very experienced move by Reinus Mikkels, the manager, the man who's been here with Ajax, the great association with uh, Jan Freud. Stevens is up there. Robert Fritz is a deflection, and good goes and Schumacher holds steady. Well, that's flicked away desperately by Strack. The Germans are edgy and nervous 
and so they ought to be. Cooper. Great skill by Cooper. Swept away though. Kenneth. Fritz. Oh, lovely piece of play by the Swiss, but his speed player. Johnston can't get anywhere near it. That's the up and under. John McDonald is down. There's McKinnon with a drive and a brilliant save. Oh, the shot of the match. Well, what a game this man McKinnon's had. Frisch is still on all the same, and here is Bet. Just under a minute left. There's Schumacher. Here's Bobby Russell. And he's done it too far. Well, let's have a look at that shot by McKinnon again. That really was superbly driven in. And not only did he hit it well, but that is great quality goal, goalkeeping by Schumacher. Now here's Redford. I think the referee is about to blow his whistle. Very near it. One last charge. There's Derek Johnson with a touchdown. And again, pushing. Stein and he have been at it all night. Free kick. Schumacher with it. Now gone an astonishing four minutes of injury time. It's got to be Stewart's ball, and I think it really has got to go right downfield again. There goes Bet. That's a free kick where Johnson and uh, Steiner once again collided. Cooper to take. Right beyond uh, Gregor Stevens, who came up there. And I think people perhaps are beginning to appreciate that Rangers, fighting back from that one all situation, have done everything they can. It is now 2 1, and probably time has fully run out. There, John McDonald, it's McKinnon, Cooper, on to Redford, the ball by Redford, it sweeps away across, it's a goal kick. And Strack looking daggers at Redford. Redford has found it difficult for, uh, once or twice getting to the line to keep the ball in play. William on soon line, Ibrox. of entry time gone as the rain cascades down and that grandstand the finish by Rangers was beginning to peter right now but here we have that long throw in of Derek Johnson again beautifully clear and there goes the final whistle Rangers have achieved a notable victory two goes to one it really ought to have been more than that I think they played even better than they did against Borussia Dortmund and against the team of greater quality. And uh, their captain, John McClellan, the man who's given them a very vital lead indeed to go to Cologne. I'm sure Rangers regret having lost that goal. Nevertheless, they've played with great spirit and organization and a great deal of play.